What's up, PPPHD? I hope you're doing well. Uh, I know I'm super excited because I got invited to my first conference. So just to give you a feel of where I'm coming from today, this is my office, or it was my office, from when I was an undergraduate. So I did my bachelor's degree in physics here in the University of Hong Kong. And this is the office where uh, I completed my undergraduate thesis. And it's really fun. We've got these nice big windows here. We have a beautiful view of the sunset. And I'm really grateful that whenever I come back to Hong Kong to visit my family and friends, my old supervisor always welcomes me to come back and uh, take up a desk, talk to the students. So I always have a place to work whenever I'm back in Hong Kong. But anyway, back to my conference invite. Some background. My experiment has more than 3,000 people on it, and about half of them are students. So whenever a conference comes up, they need to decide who is going to represent the experiment at this conference to talk about some topic. And there's an internal scoring system in our experiment that lets the higher-ups decide who they should uh, invite to give talks and who they should assign to give talks. If there's a talk that the higher-ups think is worth giving, usually what they would do is they would try to find someone who is knowledgeable about that, so someone who's worked in that area or near that area. They also try to find people who are in good standing with the experiment, so someone who has done quite a lot of service work for the experiment and who has done really good physics for the experiment. And they also try to invite people who haven't given a talk in a while, more than the people who have given talks recently. I started getting invitations to show posters at conferences a few months ago. And the first time I got one of those, I was super excited because it felt like, wow, someone is noticing me. Someone is noticing the work that I'm doing and they're giving me an opportunity to talk about it. So I thought that was really nice. And the conferences that I was invited to show these posters at were all at great locations. There was one which was going to be at a ski resort in Switzerland. There was one that was going to be in Toronto. And there was one that was going to be in Adelaide. The only problem was they were all quite far and quite expensive. So it didn't really seem that worth it to go all that way and to spend all that money to go just to present a poster. In fact, showing posters can be a rather awkward thing. You basically stand at some poster board along with some other young researchers and you hope that someone comes talk to you. And sometimes people do come and talk to you, just like here in this video from the summer school that I attended. And people have interesting questions and you have great chats. But sometimes people are not that interested. And what ends up happening is that you just sort of stand there and uh, awkwardly smile at everybody who's walking by. And some other people would just rather enjoy the tea and coffee or play ping pong or whatever activity that is concurrent with the poster session. Plus, you don't really get that much exposure. Not everybody sees you. Not everybody sees your poster. And just it doesn't look as good as a talk on a CV. And so I decided to reject those invitations to show posters and instead hold out for a chance where I could give a talk. You have been shortlisted a potential presenter to... No way! I was super excited to get this invitation. Whoa, this is super exciting! But I wasn't sure what to do about it. But what do I do about it? It was just my luck that my supervisor started his vacation on the day I received this invitation. And so uh, I couldn't really ask him about it and I had to use my head. But I don't want to use my head! Ah! With the help of another professor and some other senior students, I basically came up with this list of pros and cons. On the pros side, it's my first conference talk, so why not go? Plus, it's at a holiday destination, so I could enjoy some sun, sand, and surf while I'm there. But going to a holiday destination at the peak of summer well, that's kind of expensive, and I wasn't really sure if it was worth all that much money. On the pro side, I have funding from my scholarship to go to things like this, and I probably should take advantage of it. But it's always good to at least try to apply for additional funding, and that involves a lot of admin work, and it's a bit of a hassle. Plus, I'm already a bit tired from traveling a lot lately over the past few months. If I skip this invite, maybe I'll get another invitation in the future to present. But then, Maybe I won't. But in the end, I figured, why not? I got invited, I have the money, it's a nice location, I should go. 
And so I will be going to the 8th International Conference on New Frontiers in Physics, which will be held on the island of Crete in Greece uh, at the end of August. And uh, sounds exciting. I hope to take full advantage of the conference to network with other students, other academics, and also show my work and the work of other people that have worked so hard uh, to make our experiment possible. So that's it for this week. Next week I'll be talking about how I'm applying for funding to go to this conference, like where I'm getting the funding to go and how I need to apply, how do I write the application letters and how I'm preparing my CV uh, to get this all done. Stay tuned for that by subscribing to the channel and of course leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you next week. Bye.